there you and welcome to a rather sporadic imperial guard defense line you see unfortunately for the imperials while they were sleeping at night a gigantic army of chaos renegade gunners managed to sneak upon them so as dawn broke the imperials quickly made a defensive line hoping to hold back the untold numbers that are about to descend upon them as always if you do enjoy this content do leave a like and consider subscribing is that the best way to support the channel and now Let's get on with the slaughter. Here we go then, ladies and gentlemen, kicking off today's fights. 1.5 million renegade gunners about to storm upon our poor beleaguered Imperial Guard forces here. You can see that they've got some form of rudimentary defense here, but there is absolutely no cover for them whatsoever. However, they have got a couple of auto cannons and a few artillery guns to help them out just a little bit. But look at this chaos army, man. Stretching off as far as the eye can see. Renegade Gummers coming charging in to that conscript line. The conscripts, though, laying down that auto gun fire, annihilating that front line as they try to get close. However, sheer weight of numbers here is pulling the, the Renegade Gunners through, storming right onto our front line. Man, just look at that. Stretching off into the distance as far as the eye can see. But the Imperials, can they hold this defensive ground? Like I said, it's a large flat land, so hopefully the auto cannons are going to be working over time. Them artillery guns are going to send people flying through the air constantly. Oh, you poor renegade gunners. But Chaos does not care. It's going to grind down these Imperial defenses with every single death here. Speaking of, we're almost at 70,000 kills here for the Imperial defenders already. That's not even counting the environmental kills that we're getting from things like artillery. But the Chaos Tendrils here wrapping their way slowly but surely around the flanks. But we have got multi-layered defenses here, which is going to make it really hard for Chaos to actually outflank any one portion here. Like I said, on this side as well, we've got them auto guns. The uh, auto cannon, sorry. Just absolutely annihilating troops. Each one of them bullets will travel through. 50 odd troops you can already see here just little lines appearing where the bullets are ripping through the chaos hordes god yeah did you see that then i don't know if you'll notice but you can see like little blood splatters every now and then that just appear let's see if we can see one now there we go there's a couple then that just rip through hundreds of the infantry all in one go we're gonna get some really nice little blood lakes here and some fantastic body piles but already the chaos almost overwhelming the imperial defenses here wrapping themselves around it as much as they possibly can now at the center of our lines we have got one group of death Corps, and we have got one group of cadians as well so things are not as bleak as they may seem here but chaos is pushing hard at every single flank every little gap it can get them troops in it is doing so man i love that artillery just look at it devastating units in the background over there Hundreds of men flying through the air at any one point. And look at these body piles, man. Already, we're starting to form some magnificent corpse architecture here. Someone's going to have to pull up Brittany at the end of this and tell her to come and collect the body piles. Maybe we'll even get little Timmy's blood lakes going. Who knows? But at the moment, the bodies are certainly piling up on this front line for the chaos. Imperials doing a stalwart job of holding back the insane horde of death. That is trying to approach upon them. Look, it's really interesting how we get these little breaks here. Because they're trying to go for the closest units. It's allowing the Imperials in the centre to just annihilate both groups from the side. It's interesting as well, because the body piles on these ends here are going to build up more than anywhere else, I would reckon. Imperials are trying to hold back this wave. And man, the Chaos are just finding any gap they can and are pouring troops into it. These little crevices here, allowing plenty of Chaos Renegade Gunners to try and envelop each individual unit. Are the Chaos going to have enough units, though, to encircle the entirety of the Imperial Defense here? Already, man, look at that. It's just insane, that horde. You can already see these uh, little lines as well from where the auto cannons have just been ripping through infantry. Starting to get a blood lake forming down here as well. As the Chaos comes storming in. Front line still holding for now. The body piles really building up there. Artillery working over time, killing thousands of units. Man, it's so awful. Just watching these guys like this poor dude here. 
You're getting flung so far into the air. Oh my god, that's so grim. You gotta imagine that they come down pretty hard as well, because they're wearing like these big metal masks, they've got respirators on the bask on the back. They don't want a baskers. The basking in the respirators. <laughs> but chaos man is losing so many units, but is grinding its way forward. The way chaos does. Just throwing stupendous amounts of renegade gunners at the problem. And then the heavy infantry will come in after her mop up what's remaining. This is a really little interesting body pile that we've got going on here. It's almost like a little V-shape. Things like this can be deadly though to the defenders. It allows the blood to start pulling up and possibly even drowning them. It does look like the guardsmen's line are starting to get a little bit thin on this side though. However though, this is just where the Cadians are as well. And we have got some more auto guns over here. I bet these guys have been having an absolute feed day. But weird, they make archer sounds for some reason. I don't know why, they're meant to make gun sounds. But let's have a look down this guy's little uh, side here. Look at that. He can just see target after target. Laying in that covering fire right into the side here. Trying to help out his brothers on the front line. But the sheer weight of numbers is taking its toll little by little on this defense here. The Imperials caught off guard have done a magnificent job so far of defending. Then how long can this front line actually survive though? These chaos are just storming forward, man. We've got some insane body piles going on, man. <laughs> it's really good. I love this. Look at it, it's like two body yeah, it's two cameras high. And that's just the front line. It does look like it's going to collapse pretty soon, though. The Chaos are officially through that line over there now and are working their way through the second support line. Which is going to be assaulted from all angles. Luckily, that artillery there was just keeping the Chaos at bay. Just enough firepower at the moment. However, the one or two more cannons and the Chaos probably wouldn't have been able to push this at all. But they have what they have, ladies and gentlemen, and the Chaos are grinding their way forward. Having dealt a blow now, they have completely wiped out one squad on that side. The front lines are about to fall. They are wrapping their tendrils around this defense, level by level. Like I said, these body piles actually help to protect the troops behind it as well. Imperials have to shoot upwards towards the troops that are coming over the top of them. A lot less collateral kills now. But we are at 685,000 kills here for the Imperial Defenders, 10,000 to the Chaos. The Chaos have still got all, just almost under 800,000 units remaining as they come surging forward now, officially smashing through that front line and the second line is under threat. Though we do have the Kriegsmen, the second support line of Conscripts as well as the Cadians. But I'm going to imagine that a lot of the Cadians are focusing their firepower over this side at the moment. As they're slowly watching the conscripts over here get eaten alive. And we really are building a boat. Look at that. We're going to build the Noah's Ark over here, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we've decided. Like I said, every video now, it's just us building the architecture. <laughs> that future generations are going to wonder what the heck happened here. My god, I love stuff like this though. When you start getting a double body lake, a, a double body pile like this, and you can just see the infantry traversing between the two. Loads of blood underfoot as they try to make the way up. Oh, look at that for a sight, man. That's insane. And as the poor old Chaos make their way to that front line as they go over the top, just a bunch of Imperials with last guns and auto cannons ready and waiting for them. Not to mention the artillery, man. Which has had an absolute field day here with the Chaos Horde. But despite the insane losses, Chaos is making its advances bit by bit. Every death bringing them closer. You can see the auto guns here finally succumbing to the Chaos Horde. How are the ones doing on this side? We're doing okay on this side. Oh my god. Look at that blood lake, man. Not deep enough yet for little Timmy, but the guardsmen are definitely getting their boots wet here. The conscript line is still holding somewhat on this side. But how long for? Chaos is just pouring reinforcements into the area. And little by little, the defense is starting to falter. My god, man. So much blood all over the field. So many bodies as well. 
I'm really interested to see the little patterns that we've made by the end of this from uh, the auto cannons because they tend to make some really cool patterns out of the bodies. Man, look at Chaos go though. It is unrelenting here. Is little Timmy going to be able to get out his rubber dinghy yet? No, we're still officially at rubber ducky levels. A little bit unfortunate, but I'm sure we might get something going by the end of this fight. Look at that. Thousands of Renegade Gunners die every second, literally. The front line, man, is just holding, though. I don't know how, but it is holding against this weight of oppression. The Chaos really need to start taking out these artillery guns if they want a real chance of winning. And it kind of looks like they actually might have. Look at this. We have lost a few of the artillery guns over this side now. A devastating blow to the Imperial defense. It's allowing a lot more of the chaos to push up and around the flank as you slowly envelop the Imperial defense. Again, this gun becoming dangerously exposed to them chaos hordes. Just a few more deaths on the Imperial side and pretty soon, yeah, them guns are gonna be chowder. But yeah, man, look at this valley that we made. Absolute insanity. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, you have to love it. But I don't know, man. This is really hard to call. Chaos has just over 500,000 troops remaining. Half a million. The 13,000 defenders. And with every loss that the Imperials take, the firepower is diminished. Just allowing the Chaos to get closer and closer. It's lucky that for the Imperials that the Chaos have got no ammunition and they're all engaging in melee combat, really. It's the downside to this game. Anytime you have a static defense, the attackers can't really have any guns because it just annihilates the defenders. Because think of this, right? You've got all these melee units that are up close and personal and the game's AI basically says, attack the thing that's closest to you. So if you've got a bunch of melee units storming over you like this, all your gunners are going to be focused on the melee units, which allows any attacker's army to basically just rail on the defenders. The way to counter it is to give the defenders some melee units, but yeah, in this case, I didn't want to. <laughs> I didn't want to give the Imperials too many. Could get a bunch of conscripts with uh, bayonets, but I don't think they would have really done much. And we're getting these lovely little, look at that. That is a proper little boat that we've made here. We're starting to turn slowly into a ridge. But, you know, corpse architecture is corpse architecture, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Man, I was really amazed that this front line for the Imperials has held as long as it has, to be honest. Look at the sheer weight of bodies that it's cost the, uh, the, uh, what's them? The Renegade, I couldn't think, remember the name then. The Renegade Gunners. But I'll notice this as well, look. The body pile starts off high. Okay, let's... The body pile starts off high up here. And slowly but surely, it's getting thinner and thinner. You can tell that the weight of Imperial defense and firepower is thinning out. We did lose one of the guns on this side as well now. With 400,000 units remaining, it's now or never for the chaos. We have chewed through a vast portion of their reserves. 1.1 million kills so far to the Imperial defenders. Look at this little last stand going on, man. Back to back fighting as conscripts. Desperately try to hold back them renegade gunners. But they are just pouring into that breach. Taking any way they can. God, man. <laughs> I never get tired of watching artillery. The units fly through the air. Hello, Victor. Bye, Victor. <laughs> Let's have a look at this blood lake over here. It's still not deep enough just yet. But oh my God, look at the body pile that we've started to form on this side. Our ship is slowly but surely extending. Chaos, though, not got enough units to push around this flank just yet. Although it looks like they should have plenty. There we go. We can see some reinforcements starting to work their way around. Attrition here for the Chaos has been insane going up against these KDN Gunners. The conscripts on this line have provided invaluable support, distracting the enemy, allowing that firepower to do its work. Go on, guys. If you're a Chaos fan, you want these guns to go down as quickly as possible. 
They have caused so much hurt for the Chaos Gunners. Well, I'd like to. I can't really call these Chaos Gunners. I'm going to have to call them Chaos Stabbers. Because they're not really shooting, are they? <laughs> but they are working their way through. They're taking a lot of losses doing it. But they are slowly but surely making that happen. Look at that body pile in the background over there. Proper making a little pyramid. Praise be to Brittany and her body piles. Absolutely fantastic stuff. It's just unfortunate little Timmy has yet to be praised in this fight. But like I said, Brittany can come out and play amongst the corpses of the dead. There's plenty of them here. We're starting to get like a little bit of a river. I don't know if you noticed that. Every now and then we've got this blood just trickling down. Look at that. That's kind of cool. And it is all filling out into this area. Chaos still look like they have plenty of reinforcements though. Look at that. The horde is gigantic. And look, there are them there. Auto cannon that corpse tra uh, trails that I was on about. That is all from the auto cannons just ripping through. Hundreds and hundreds of troops with each shot. We have still got some auto cannons actually working over here. The Chaos, though, looking like they've finally realized that they've been causing them a lot of problems. They've sent out a group to try and take them over. <laughs> Look at these guys, man. Getting annihilated as they make their way forward. Completing off the death. Hadian death fire there. Supported by the auto cannons. Again, amazed this front line is still here. We have officially lost all the guns on that side, though, now. So these three here are the only ones remaining on the front line. We have got the reserve line here with another four. But that is also under assault, though it looks like Chaos is actually running out of reinforcements. Yet again on the flank, the attrition is starting to take a hold. 7,000 defenders remaining. A hundred by basically just under 200,000 attackers. We need to clear up this flank here really quickly if you're a fan of the Imperial Guard. Chaos needs to capitulate this side even quicker to get them artillery guns out of the way. And it does look like the front line is faltering properly now. Well, it was the second line. It's the front line now. Chaos finally starting to work its magic here. And they're going to go surging forward right into them Imperial Gunners. But first, that thing that's up for grabs. The auto cannons. The poor old recruits manning them, trying the best to hold back. <laughs> that insane wave of chaos. Look at that. Oh my god. They are melting under the sheer weight of firepower. However, though, with chaos now pushing this area here, that means some of the firepower is going to be distracted from our flank. And you can see that the conscripts are bearing the price of that. Chaos is storming ahead. 150,000 troops remaining. Are they going to be able to take out these auto cannons? The auto cannons have just killed thousands and thousands of troops. It cannot be understated. They're probably almost as effective as the uh, artillery guns, quite frankly. But even over here, the body piles are getting insane. No matter where we look, we've got insane corpse architecture, and I'm a big fan of that. Imperial Defenders holding on quite nicely at the moment. You can see the Death Corps over here as well. They've just been sat here the entire round, not being attacked. I think they're actually a little bit depressed, you know, and sad. I think they're a bit sad that they didn't get to go into melee combat. Although some of them might get their chance yet. The Chaos comes surging forward. Heading towards the Krieger here. Them Halbor last rifles working overtime. My god, look at Chaos, he's just melting. Renegade Gunners here, piling up the corpses, trying to make their way forward. Have we actually taken out the auto cannons yet? Not quite yet. Oh god, we're piling up the bodies around them now. This poor dude has been absolutely swarmed. He can't even see what he's attacking because his face is just covered in blood now. <laughs> god, look at that Chaos Assault. They are just throwing everything at these Gunners, man. Vengeance is chaos is though here. They're taking them out one by one. Under an insane weight of firepower though, I might add. Cadian defense line here doing its job. Laying down an insane auto fire. Chaos really running out of reinforcements on the flank. Its main army now is in the center lines. And they are surging forward. 
the Krieger here now starting to build up their own body pile. A couple of them, it looked like they got a bit of a chance here to use the shovels. I'm sure that's cheered up a few of them. But Chaos does have most of its forces trying to push into this area still. And they have not yet capitulated these artillery guns, which is just, yeah, annihilating the Chaos here. Simply not enough reinforcements have been pushed into this area. Going back over to the other side now, we can see the exposed dorsal fin. That is our corpse architecture, my god. Look at this thing, it's magnificent. It's a lovely little pyramid. It was starting to look like a boat, but yeah, it sort of ended up being this weird, elongated pyramid. The Toblerone, that's what we've made. The Toblerone of corpses. The last few chaos here though, 30,000 remaining, charging into the breach. And unfortunately, I do think little Timmy is going to be disappointed, unless this is deep enough here. Oh, oh, no, no, not quite. Oh, that's so sad. We almost had a little rubber dinghy lake, but it was not meant to be, ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately. The last of the chaos now getting absolutely mopped up. <laughs> that's the only way to describe it, man. That firepower is just melting them now. Without the uh, concerted effort across the entire line, they are just getting eradicated. So while that's happening to them, let's go have a look at these auto kind of lines. It's weird, because when you're down to the ground, you can barely see them. But as you start zooming out, look at that. Just all over the battlefield, man. They're so cool. I'd really like to do some artwork with them. <laughs> like, see if we can draw some images with auto cannons. That would be really interesting. But what we're going to do is we're quickly just going to time lapse these last little ball guys as they get mopped up, and we'll be back in a second. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there it is. The Chaos Horde, despite having the upper hand of ambushing the Imperials, and the Imperials not really having that much of a defense or cover at all. Oh my god, look at that. Look at the big blood lake in the background. I didn't even notice that. But yeah, the Imperials didn't have any cover whatsoever. However, uh, Anna, getting all my words mixed up. Yeah, Imperials did not have any cover. However, they have now made plenty of cover for themselves. Look at all these body piles. And this one over here, the dorsal fin of Chaos Gunners is absolutely amazing. But of course, ladies and gentlemen, all good things must come to an end. And this battlefield needs to be cleansed. And as always... I do hope you had a blast. I know I did. Please do comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. A massive shout out to all our channel members who helped keep this channel going. And if you're not a channel member, why the heck not? Click the join button below. And while you're at it, go ahead and check out the Chaotic Pinky Store. We've got some amazingly cool merch over there. With all that being said, as always, until next time, peace. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Got anything else to say? Oh, okay. Well, thank you very much for helping Daddy with his recording.